The post hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy, also sometimes shortened to just post hoc fallacy, is an assumption that because event B came after event A, then event A must have caused event B. So it's sometimes called like a cause and effect fallacy. It's just falsely saying this event caused this event because of the order that they happened, when really the two may not be related, or they could both be caused by some outside event. Event C could have caused A and B. So in our first example, Thrasymachus says, When the rooster crows, the sun comes up soon after. So the rooster's crow must cause the sun to come up. Adamantus points out, even if roosters do not, did not exist, the sun would still come up. So, Adamantus can also point out that places like the North Pole, if Thrasymachus knew what that was, don't have roosters, so therefore they don't crow, but the sun somehow still comes up at various times. So, in our second example, Thrasymachus says, It gets hot out a few months after farmers plant crops, so planting crops must cause the earth to warm up. Here, Adamantus also refutes Thrasymachus' logic again. He says farmers plant crops when they do because they know it is going to get hot. It got hot every summer way before farmers started planting crops. So, once again, Thrasymachus noticed, notices two events and thinks the earlier one caused the later one. When, actually, yeah, the later one more or less caused the earlier one based off... Really, it didn't cause it, it was history that caused it, but... You could look at it as that way. And in the third example, Thrasymachus says, I, have, I gave a piece of bread to a homeless man and saw a snake today. Here, Adamantus points out, those two events are not related. There is no way that giving a piece of bread away yesterday would cause you to see a snake today. Now, you could argue that if he didn't give that homeless person the piece of bread, he wouldn't have saw a bird scared it away, and that bird's movement somehow caused the snake to be where Thrasymachus would see it today. But, in general, you would say that giving a homeless man a piece of bread didn't really cause him to see a snake, because that wouldn't always be true, so you can't really say that that's the main cause of it. I just hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe.